Daiga Bratmane, yes, from the Friendly Appeal Tested State Gymnasium, and who's going to be talking to us about the uh, sustainable development goings in connection with language learning. So, welcome, and uh, off you go. Uh, hello, and uh, good morning, good day, everyone. Uh, I'm well, the Friendly, friendly Appeal State, State Gymnasium with one of my, I would say, um, part time jobs I have. Uh, my main occupation is a is a, a student recruiter for a for a university, and uh, one of my other uh, uh, other hats I'm wearing is I'm working for the University of Latvia, and I have a subject or a course called Introduction to uh, Education for Sustainable Development for for the potential teachers in the future. So I'm trying to put all these hats together with with the topic of learning languages. Or teaching languages, and this is uh, what the talk, uh, what the workshop is going to be about. Um, okay. Uh, so the goal of the workshop uh, will be more to reflect about your previous experience and to put together uh, the sus sustainable development goals with uh, with your goals and your values, and. Uh, add a bit of uh, planning for the future, uh, how to put it together with a curriculum. As you might know, there are 17 sustainable development goals uh, uh, created by United Nations in 2015, hoping to, to uh, climb up in the results of each of these goals in the future. And, um, and uh, from what I've heard from my students, both at school and in the university, um, Sustainability is usually usually overlooked as just the uh, aspect of uh, nature and eco uh, connected uh, connected uh, topics, but uh, people often forget about uh, about uh, um, society connected uh, aspects um, and economics related uh, topics as well, because decent work and economic growth is also one of the sustainable development goals. And um, my first question to the audience, both online and and here in the audience, how, how do you think how much uh, sustainable development goals are connected with language skills and teaching language skills? Like, yes, maybe, no. Looks like uh, I a mean, full company. yes. <laughs> we are very good to go. Uh, so, uh, let's continue with uh, with the uh, with the next question. Uh, you will. I, I invite you now to take your notebook and uh, look at the uh, list of sustainable development goals and write down what's the most important sustainable development goal for you personally, and add some notes why. And uh, we will have around two minutes for this to think about and. Yes. You can choose so three, but like uh, it, it's it's hard to choose. <laughs> if it's hard to choose, then then it can be more than than one. But because um, uh, they are also interconnected. But yeah, that synthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Around one minute left. And the two minutes are over. Uh, I would be happy if uh, someone could uh, share what is your uh, most, but which of these is your most important uh, goal and, uh, and why. 
Yeah. Um, for me, it's number 12, because I find that everything is linked to it, responsible consumption and production, um, you know, and, and also teaching young people to be aware of the consequences of the actions as consumers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I chose reducing inequalities, if I understand correctly. For me, it is an umbrella for um, poverty reduction, for uh, quality of education, and even climate, um, and all other things. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I chose four. Mm -hmm. Just because like, I'm more into this SDG, and uh, it's all interrelated with all other things. So from my perspective, we should educate about that from school. Mm -hmm. And that's like just hope. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, I would say that number three is one of those um, as well, both for students and teachers. And uh, I'm so glad that for a couple, I would say maybe three to five years, uh, it's uh, while the students start finally speaking more and acting more towards their mental health and they mm -hmm. think about our teachers' mental health as well. So, number three, definitely that. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> I guess the only one that's pretty hard is select one I only. Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, they do interact. Yeah, and we are just uh, we made one uh, small, tiny part of the world. That's why uh, growth education and, and climate and, and well being that all works for, for our goals. Yes. Um, may maybe there's someone online who would like to share. You can write it in the chat. Just um, and um, maybe you too, or you want to keep it to yourselves. I had the good health and well being, and the second one was quality education. So I can just agree with the <laughs> people who already said. Thanks. And, and you? Uh, I agree for number four with quality mm -hmm. education. Okay. It's a very silent. Uh... Participant. <laughs> um, that's what uh, what happens on the other side of the Zoom. Uh, so uh, uh, many studies show quite okay. Uh, many studies show that uh, choose like knowing your own values and focusing on them. That's something that you can more easily bring to your classroom. That's something you more easily can share. For example, uh, when I was in my uh, teacher training program I had to I had to teach chemistry and it was it's not my subject my I, I'm a biologist uh, by training I love uh, everything around it I know chemistry uh, quite well but it was a disaster for me to sell studying chemistry in my classroom I had to prepare twice as much and it took twice as much energy out of me and also from the classroom so when you know what you're passionate about it's easier to start from that point and also looking at the sustainable development goals, uh, you know which is uh, which is the one that clicks uh, for you, and then you can start from 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 that side. Um, okay, but let's let's dig a bit deeper. You will still need your notebooks and pens, and there's going to be a task to reflect. Um, there are many aspects that help us to focus on sustainable development goals or or uh, or teach them, and uh, I, I, I would like to invite you to uh, answer this uh, this question about what inhibits uh, you teaching uh, topics around sustainable development goals and what enables you, and uh, both uh, dividing these answers into two parts, which of these aspects are inside of you and which of these aspects are around you. For example, uh, I'm very passionate about sustainable sustainability as such that enables me to do uh, stuff around, around this topic. And uh, inhibitors are that I do not feel, for example, that confident in some of the topics. So you will have another two minutes, maybe a bit more, uh, to think about uh, what enables and inhibits you.
one minute past and one minute left. Hey, the, the two minutes just flew away. <laughs> and um, now I will invite you to create two small teams, one in uh, around that table of three people, another one with three people here, and you can choose which table you would like to, mm -hmm. to uh, get together with. Mm -hmm. And those who are online, they they are invited to, um, yeah, if, if you can, you can write in the chat to discuss what you wrote down and uh, share your inhibitors and enablers between yourselves. And uh, each team will have to share one inhibitor and one ena enabler in public in uh, two minutes again. So it's quick. <laughs> One minute left. Sometimes the body will be Yeah, sorry. Okay. 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, each loop uh, could you share one enabler and one inhibitor to be that? Uh, it's very hard to do it. It's cool. <laughs> right. So I guess uh, what united all of us was that uh, study problems can sometimes be enablers and sometimes they can be inhibitors around mm -hmm. this. Um, we're sharing from from colleague here that, for example, for their school they actually already do this and they have some uh, problems that uh, that they even yesterday talked about it. And then for some of us, there's still not enough information about exactly how to do it. Um, and the, the inside the enablers were, for example, validity knowledge or for me, or the passion about these topics mm -hmm. in general, you know, living in this world, <laughs> things like that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, as I know, in the last few years, SDG uh, unites like five different lines of uh, sustainable development. But basically, here in Latvia, we have more focus only on environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, what my suggestion is that. To push people institutions to implement another class. Yeah, that that's for the solutions already. Yeah. <laughs> from, from the problems and and the enablers. Yeah. Uh, we began actually by the um, around me uh, factors, I would say, and we agreed upon the lack of time as an inhibitor because definitely there are other responsibilities and people who have to be responsible for as teachers. And enablers, uh, in a way, writing materials for the same article that we can choose for to put mm -hmm. out and discuss with them. Um, personally, from my perspective, the enabler teacher. And uh, also, uh, for instance, there was mentioning that uh, the one program that is here at the Superior School goes together for the idea of the uh, FDGs. So, that might be as an enabler. Okay, thanks. Uh, and we, there's going to be one minute to discuss. Uh, in teams, one what uh, what uh, gets in your way uh, uh, of this? Like, how can you change the inhibitors uh, into like find a solution and what and how to encourage the enablers? And that's uh, one minute to, to think about the solutions to your publicly made problems. And you mentioned also some solutions. Yeah, one minute. <laughs> Right, Go to the nice phrase to do it. Uh, go for it. Uh, definitely, there has to be for creation and collaboration with colleagues. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't think we actually summarized the uh, one particular point. I would, I would say just uh, vote for people who uh, maybe <laughs> want to, because we're our problem with the uh, study program. So mm -hmm. I think the policies have to be made in a larger scale. So then, the scope of collaboration, as it was mentioned here mm -hmm. before, we have no support. Okay. You know, in the beginnings of 2000s, we had the nation initiative like sustainable school. Mm -hmm. But because of lack of money and budget, the initiative was like lowest. And so now, yeah, it's, it's something to work on. Yeah. And it's good always to share the ideas and also the inhibitors to work on them. And it's always good to go together and grab those people who are on the same uh, values and waves as you are 
and that's it from us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have four minutes for uh, questions or comments from Yes, I'm writing my PhD on this topic. I'm the expert whom I can interview. Oh. But not today. Who is the expert? I would say, uh, Neil the Dalvin is Sarma. Yeah. He's working for UNESCO last year, mm -hmm. Office yeah. for Education. And uh, also, um, in a bellow, no, no, I know, I know. Oh. But just like my topic is about clean performance through sustainable development in a school. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a uh, limited gymnasium, but I never spoke about good passes for gymnasium. Ah, that's right, just like about in, how you implement those things. And you are the expert, you, yeah. yeah, you are like, <laughs> ah, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I'm the expert in this field. <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that a question? Any more questions or comments? Maybe uh, I'm just curious. So you both did you go out of university, which is yes. to my mind amazing because you have real connection with students who are ready to make like students at university. So what are the biggest challenges maybe with the students at the university while I'm teaching you this, this uh, topic? Um there uh, yeah, this is right my first year and I was uh, confronted uh, by the, the previous uh, course uh, leader, co course teacher, that uh, the, the uh, language teachers, not, not language, but Latvian language teachers will be very, like, no, it's not for us, it's not completely connected to our topic, but actually, like Latvian and literature teachers were the most enthusiastic, mm -hmm. they found out ways and how to connect sustainable development goals with uh, which is a novel uh, for, yeah, in Latin about uh, uh, social problems. Um, yeah, they were really enthusiastic, but chemistry and mathematics teachers were very, like, mathematics teachers said, like, no, I have to teach more of this than that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, 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 can I not come to these lectures? I'm like, oh. no, <laughs> it's part of your evaluation. So, um, yeah. All right. We'll thank have you. to stop here for the uh, the next um, presentation. But thank you so much again. Uh,